Three years ago, the city of Clarksville was the first city in Arkansas to power 100% of its operations with renewable energy. Now it's aiming for another energy first to be the site of the state's first hydrogen production power plant. The city announced these plans back in early May. Arkansas business editor Lance Turner is here for a deeper look. Lance, what is Clarksville planning? Well, it's pretty ambitious. The city is working with a company called Syntex Industries of Little Rock to design and build a hydrogen energy power plant. Now, the first phase of the plan, valued at about $150 million, would supply about 50 megawatts of power to the city of Clarksville. But if things go well, the city would like to expand that capacity over multiple phases to about 500 megawatts, which would be much greater than the energy hydrogen plant currently operating in the U.S. The power plant itself, this is kind of interesting, would be powered by solar power and also other purchased renewable energy and produce green hydrogen uh, power. And that green hydrogen would then be burned to drive conventional electricity generating turbines or even fed into fuel cells to create electricity. So why is the idea of a hydrogen power plant important to Clarksville? Yeah, well, as we noted, Clarksville has been a pioneer in, in renewable energy. Uh, it was the first city in the state to have all its city government operations powered by solar back in 2020. But its power demands, like everybody else, has grown, and the city wants to once again become energy independent. So that's one reason. But the hydrogen plant's um, affordable renewable energy and electricity would also help the city to lure other power-hungry uh, employers and operations into town. In fact, the city has already targeting what it calls a biorefinery, uh, one that would need 200 megawatts of power, and that would be key to a likely third phase of this hydrogen power plant project. So industrial recruitment is another big reason driving this project. More employers, more jobs, uh, and reliable, affordable power is very key to luring these big employers to your town. So how close is all of this to becoming a reality? Well, we talked to Syntex Managing Director Tom Wagoner, who said that the city and Syntex uh, expect to break ground on the project, the first phase of the project, by the end of the year. That phase would probably see some limited power productions beginning in 2025. The second phase will likely come probably within a year of that, and Wagoner says the city would like to have at least one or two of those big energy-hungry companies committed to coming to town to make that phase a little bit more economically viable. In all, though, officials expect the first phase of this project to provide uh, about 100 full-time jobs to the city of Clarksville. It'll be interesting to see how this all unfolds. Lance, thanks for joining us. You can read more about this on ArkansasBusiness.com.